Ah. Too late to get this train. CC train your station on. Where it's like, can I have a hug? Yeah. <laughs> no. Here I go again. Bye bye. Oh, there we go. Why is it every time I vlog, I can't drive? Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I'd vlogged, vlog? Let me just get off my drive guys, because guys, I don't know why I keep saying guys. Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I'd vlog today because I'm off to Milton Keynes to go and see Mamma Mia with my sisters and my mum. So it's gonna be a really nice day. So I thought a vlog mainly for memories to look back on. My mum's just got back off holiday and you probably don't care, but I'm gonna take you anyway. Yeah, she's just got back off holiday and she has been living her best life, having fine parties, <laughs> drinking endless gin. I love it. Like my mum is the life I wanna lead when I get to her age when my kids are grown up. So yeah, I'm just off to her house now. We can get the train to Milton Keynes. Probably go for a little bit of dinner. So yeah, this is her bleated 48th birthday present. I don't know how old she's gonna be. So's mum. But yeah, how are we all? Just thought I'd do my intro in the car because I'm running late as per usual. cinema tickets Adam's took them to the cinema this morning so they're literally living their best life watching Minions 3 I think it is but yeah how are you all the weather is so nice isn't it I'm literally loving this weather it just makes me want to get out of bed in the morning make the most of the day secondly I've done that dreaded thing again no I haven't drove to Primark but I'm trying to do an Audi haul we all know my car likes to do that but I've actually left washing in the washing machine from last night and I was meant to pick it out this morning, I just ran out of time. And I'm really, really hoping that Adam will do it when he gets back. Um, comment down below if you think he will or not. Because we all know Adam don't like to do homeware jobs. Hence why I got rid of my bin. Little bin update. I actually threw my bin away a few months ago now. And we just we just have a little carrier bag on the side. And it just gets put in the big black bin every day. And do you know what? It's changed my absolute life. So yeah, if you're having arguments with your partner about emptying the bin, or you don't like cleaning the bin, it's got all that bin juice everywhere, or you squash it down to the point where you literally cannot get the bin bag out without it splitting, just throw your bin away, honestly. It's the best decision I ever made. But yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a chatty one. I don't know if this vlog's gonna be a little bit all over the place. But yeah, we may. I'm so hard. She put some music on. Bit of fun kids, because we all know that's my fave. If you know, you know. Heart noises. Kissery. Do you not think we should invite her? So yeah, we invite 
excited her. She got her tickets to Mamma Mia for £22 when we paid like £60 a ticket or something daft. But yeah, JC, I don't even think she watches my vlogs. But if you are actually watching my vlog, I'm so proud of you. Literally, if you can do it, off, literally, you give me the courage to just be me because you're just being you, cringe as that may sound. Yeah, she's absolutely stunning, it makes me feel sick. Both my sisters are really stunning. I'm like the chubby one. Um, my other sister, she can wear a carrier bag and look stunning and it really irritates me. And I've also given her some of my old clothes before that I don't like anymore. And then she puts them on and I'm like, I want them all back. Yeah, that's enough from me. I'm nearly at my mum's now. I love doing things like this because as a mum, being away from the kids, sometimes it's just a way to reground you and just be you, if that makes sense. And whenever I'm with my mum, with my kids and their little nanny's girls, I don't really get a word in. So it's nice to actually go out without them. As horrible as it may seem. Oh my god, summer holiday update. If you're not watching, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm a story girl on Instagram. I love a story. Um, and I've been documenting everything that we're but yeah I've been documenting on my stories on Instagram what I've been up to over the half term half term over the summer holidays and it's been hard like mums I feel you um, I've been splitting up my working day I get so many questions on what I do for a living honestly it's nothing fancy I'm just an underwriter um, which is kind of administration isn't it really um, but yeah my company that I work for really really flexible and as long as I do my hours they don't mind when I do them in the day, if that makes sense. So I've been splitting it up and doing a few hours in the morning, a few in the afternoon, and then splitting the day up by taking the girls to the park, etc. Oh my God. So Thursday, I finished work, needed to do, you know, a quick power hour in the kitchen, and Lily cut Lola's hair. Yeah. And then Friday, I split the day up and I took them to the park, and it just felt like everything I was trying to do, the world was against me. Um, I've just been finding it quite hard actually. I don't know. Oh, sugar, I'm in the wrong lane. But my sister sent me a TikTok this morning and it was so good. I'll, I'll try and link it in the description box because you just need to watch it. And it's basically about a mum saying that um, let your kids be bored because it stimulates their imagination and allows them to be more creative. And it's not a bad thing to be born, born bored and she said like when we were kids our parents didn't take us to dinosaur land and things every single day we were just bored and then we we created games ourselves didn't we like i don't know about you but i used to make potions out of petals from the garden and we used to make tree houses and play out obviously it's a different world now but um and it just made me feel a lot better because she was right so if you're feeling a little bit trapped and a little bit like you're not doing enough, you are. I let your kids be bored. The fact that you're there with them, um, they don't need millions of toys. Because it's so easy now, isn't it? Just to pop out, buy them a new toy. I've been guilty of it. Lily had a new dress. She's had a new Barbie. She's had a new dressing up shoes. I'm kind of guilty of it. But it's made me realise that it's just the simple things, isn't it? And even if it is just getting out to the park, even if you've been crying on the way there and crying on the way back, you did it. You did it, Mama. Um, not trying to be all inspirational and everything, but I've just been taking it slow. I'm an absolute liar. I haven't been taking it slow. I've been wanting to get them out every day. But I also think it's important just to have days in. If you need to get your housework done, or you need to run a hoover round, obviously hide the scissors if you have children like mine, because they cannot be trusted, clearly, without chopping each other's hair off. But yeah, don't feel guilty for it. Oh, Steve's such a gent. Got dog poo bags. No, we don't want dog poo bags. Thanks. Go away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to Tesco's and try and. Yes, Debbie. My Michael Kors. Who got you that? Dobby Your favourite daughter. Yeah, because we're going to drink them, aren't we? That guy's lovely with your outfit. Yeah, I'm not carrying it. You're carrying it. Look how brown you are. I should have faked tan, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just try one for the a boiled sweat. It's spun out. It's disgusting. Come on, Mum. Don't Let me have one. 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 Let me have one.
this week. Molly's being a me. I'll go for this one. No, I'll just do one each. I'm a lightweight. If we're late to get this train... Then we're going to have to drive to Milton Keynes, aren't we, Chrissy? The train's at 25 past. It takes like 10 minutes to get to the train station. <laughs> Steve, you look like a Brit aboard. <laughs> you look like one of those foreign taxi drivers. I'll put the egg Yeah, we just holiday. need the beads, yeah. yeah. Man, press, um... <laughs> Wait till we're out of reverse. CC cleaning old station or Hold tight, ladies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chiboni. I didn't get the floor room memory, floor memory, did I? No. no. <laughs> we'll wear a floor it's a funeral. Yeah. Actually, oh, okay. floor boots. Oh, yeah. Tracy, you're going to be baking in that jacket. Um, it's got a nice top on. Oh, Molly, I love you. Oh, God, I can't deal with this. She's not an affectionate day. person <laughs> at all. What? You know that um, TikTok where it's like, can I have a hug? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> what did I text you last night? What? bought these boots in your last vlog that we did together you never yeah. uploaded you no, never I'll, uploaded that i will you won't because it was december sorry i bet you've not got it on your memory stick i have oh. Tracy said man can i book the taxi driver next time because i'm feeling a bit oh sick <laughs> i'll be fucking late i'll be a rat no does anyone else feel neglected by their mum when they've got their kids no. Steve, tell Molly why I said sales were coming at, uh, when I said Bobby's coming at nine o'clock. Can't wait to see Molly. I've missed her so oh, much. Oh, sorry, what? You mean Chrissy? No, this was just Molly. No, this was just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not what she said on the phone to me while she was on holiday. <laughs> Mum's favourite changes every conversation. <laughs> I'm gone. But then she did it. say, I hope she doesn't stay very long. <laughs> oh, that don't surprise me. She didn't. She didn't say. Oh, the tension. I haven't got She looks really cool, Hello. don't she? She looks 18. <laughs> <laughs> what, going up the steps? Yeah, if you want. Is it vlogging? Shopping centre, and then it's uh, fills up. Oh, Mamma mia! 
Here I go again. Bye bye. So we're here, we made it. We got a bottle of wine that they gave us for free. Um, well, not for free, it was like an exchange, but they didn't seem to know, did they, ma'am? So it was awkward. Um, JC's like really awkward to be on the vlog. So it's just me and mum. Cheers, mum. Cheers. Happy birthday, Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I look like a raging alcoholic. Like, that's the train. Yeah, well, I got here. a bottle of wine confiscated on my back. <laughs> I'm not sure on this wine. It's a bit that's lovely. Symphondale. Oh, yeah, the bulletin. Mm, it's alright, but I haven't had rose wine in ages. Where's your wine? You drank it already? Oh. Have a bit Not more then. Ching ching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mum, give it down your neck. This is really sweet. Yeah, that's what I said. It's a bit. I like it. Of old people. You said I like Zinfandel. Yeah. I've had that one before. It's nice. <laughs> I've not heard of that though, the bulletin. No. That was so good. I want to go back. We were the first to stand up dancing, weren't we? We were. And Molly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Molly that I highly recommend it. it. I'm emotional. <laughs> no, we're off to sing to eat now. I'm not sure where. It's a little bit busy. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll have whatever. Bella Italia, we've got house. house and kitchen. What are you feeling? Yeah, we have to use our fingers. Surely not. Food was okay. Would I go again? Probably not. Was your food nice? Yeah. It's average. It quite a TGI no, as well. No, it was nice. Yeah, it was alright. Served a purpose. Now we're trying to find somewhere to go for a little cocktail before we head back home. Where's Molly? Loser! And then, once you've finished with it, you literally and 
and then you don't have to but what i tend to do is i'll just put a little bit of milk for the pastry i literally use one of the kids paint brushes i'll just put a little bit just cut i made them quite big last time but you can make them as big or as little as you want hot in the oven and then just pop them on like this and then just pop them in the oven for I think it is 20 minutes approximately you just keep your eye on it and then with this one I'm gonna make a really simple Nutella one. <laughs> Not look like much to look at, but I can assure you they taste amazing. But I think I've slightly overbaked them because these ones are smaller. Oh, but they look so nice as well. And I'm gonna drizzle some icing sugar over the top. This this one's the first yeast eater ever, but she absolutely loves these, don't you, Lily? They're nice. Out of ten, how much? Hundred. And you just want them the teller ones, don't you? <laughs> it's that time of day and I'm like, oh. I need to go food shopping, but I don't. I essentially am shelf cooking today. If you don't know what the term shelf cooking is, I think it was a term that wasn't originated from me. I think it was originated from Jordan Page. I'll pop her channel in the description box. She's a YouTube mom, mom, American, from Utah, and she has like loads of children and she's really good at enhancing your productivity saving money food shops and i've took quite a lot of little tips and tricks and hacks off her um one in which being that i try and do shelf cooking at least once a month ultimately shelf cooking means working from what you have in your cupboards and creating a meal plan from what you've got rather than just going out to the supermarket and grabbing everything and it really does work and save you money so i've got my meal plan here i've wrote it all down I've wrote down what i've got in my fridge freezer things like that and i'm gonna pop to aldi but yeah predominantly i don't want to go i hate food shopping i've got both girls with me but i promised them some sweets if they're good so let's get it done and then i can come home and make dinner and actually chill out because i feel like although i've not vlogged that much today it's been a really busy day I'm on my third load of washing. I'm just, I'm drowning in laundry, guys. Literally drowning in laundry. But they've had lunch now, and I've just had one as well. It's really naughty. I probably shouldn't really be eating the pastry, but we move. Yesterday in London, I had a gluten free burger, and the bun was just rock hard. If you're trying to go gluten free, tell me like what your hacks, tips, and tri trips, tips and tricks are, because I'm, I'm struggling at the moment. Um, when I go out to eat but yeah I need a Red Bull so bad <sighs> oh, let's get it done let's get it done actually playing nice ones hello so I'm back from Asda excuse my greasy face it's not actually greasy I've got an overnight face mask on Adam's back from football he's fuming because they drew but I wanted to show you what I got from Asda. Not a lot for the money, but thankfully I didn't really need a lot. And I literally went to Asda because they sell lacto-free trees. Um, and they didn't have any. Brilliant. But I'll show you what I got nevertheless. It was just under £40. But I'll insert my meal plan in my description box if I remember. But I didn't really need much because I've literally done shelf cooking this week. So that's worked out in our favour. Yeah, that's £40. For that? Yeah. A receipt, because I don't believe it. Sorry, I lie. It was £34, but it's still not a lot when you look at it. Um, I did get two lots of garlic bread, but they're in the freezer. What else did I get? Oh, and I got some mixed um, Mediterranean. <laughs> oh, 
I did get some mixed like Mediterranean vegetables to throw in because I've got some couscous. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I got nevertheless. So I got some Quaker oats, I got a watermelon, some carrots, some nectarines. The girls wanted some bakery goods, and these were on offer, I think, two for three pounds. I'll let them pick them up. Some couscous. Lola also wanted these lollies. Some cheese. Need some bleach for the toilet. Some white sauce for lasagna. Along with the mint. I went for 20% of fat because it was a lot cheaper than 5%. I normally pick up 5% when I go to Aldi, but I'll just have to drain the fat. Some oranges because the girls wanted big ones that we can cut up. Some spaghetti, cucumber, eggs and bread. And I did get gluten free bread as well. So expensive. That's probably why it's a little bit more pricey. But yeah, luckily I've got quite a lot in my fridge and freezer. So it's only cost me that because can you imagine if I went Asda and had to do a full shop? It'd probably be like four times the amount. Don't get me because I've got my camera. How cute is this coming along? I literally love it. I feel like we live in a tropical island. Be careful with it. You're making them go all like that. You need like an end on it. Daddy! She's going to lose it. Daddy! You can see from the state of my kitchen. I think I'm going to leave it here guys because it's just carnage. I want to get everything ready for the new week ahead. I've got to wait for my car because it's due to have its MIT tomorrow. And right now, like, I'm, I'll be mortified if someone looked in my car right now. But yeah, if you're still here at this point, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, by the way. It was a little bit bitty, a little bit all over the place. And I won't really know until I come to edit it back, but... Hey ho, it's good to look back at memory. And I think the kids are about to have water fire, so. Um, I'm just trying to get Do you want to say goodbye? Guten Tag, ya. Peace.